for servo wing option, the mid panel, so number five, number two, and number five are going to be different. They have a, a, a seam in the center, and they have a pocket for the servo. So we need to get these ready. So now we have the outer and inner separated. So we can do our hinges just like we did with the other ones. Follow the same procedure, bend it down, you can score the top with the flat file, then you can bend it up and then you just work it back and forth until now even with this. So this is PETG. Definitely with PLA you want to score it just to make sure. But both work pretty good. PLA has a sharper line. Where's the PDG is looser. We have our inner and outer. So we have our aileron and our flap. So for the aileron servo, you need a 300 millimeter extension. This will get it the rest of the way into the, the fuselage. And then the um, I think this is a 100 millimeter extension um, to get the flap servo in. Make sure you test your servos before you put them in. If you're buying the very inexpensive um, 9 gram servos because they're inexpensive for a reason. Their quality is not very good. And it's going to be used for the aileron. Get this through and you just kind of twist. Work it through. Just like the other version. Okay, so the one goes in like that. And this will be secured with the uh, servo cover. You can glue the servo to the servo cover and then screw the servo, co servo cover down so that you can access the aileron or the servo control horn. You or you can just glue it in place. Um, And then this, instead of feeding it in where the, the flap servo goes, we're going to feed it in one panel further out. So there's a hole right here and it feeds in. You can kind of see the, where it's going to go. This makes it so there's a little bit of room between the aileron servo and the flap servo wire. Give it a little bit of room between when you're assembling everything. Okay. Now I'm going in from the servo area. Otherwise the servo where it doesn't line up right. And I'm coming through. After some practice, it's not too bad. Okay. I'm going to put my extension on flap servo and now you can mark them left and right um, so that when they're all in the fuselage it's easy to 
understand which one is which. And then and then we're going to feed the aileron servo so that it is roughly the same length. The connector needs to be in between there. It goes this area here. Line it up a little bit. So, okay. There we go. You can leave the servos loose. Put the, so you can put the control horns on later. them on in and then you put the, the the wires through the fuselage and then you can feed them through just like you would a normal build and uh, if you mark like I said if you mark them ahead of time then you'll know left and right and then uh, need four servo covers instead of two so you'll need to print two of each side you also don't want to cut off your aileron control horn so if you're just doing z-bends the outer z-bend is a little bit shorter so it's not the 50 millimeters I think it's 45 but check your build a little bit of play in these make it so that you can line them up and get, them, get what you want the carbon stiffener for the flap and the aileron are 200 millimeters long and it might be slightly shorter than 200 millimeters on the outside and a little bit longer on the inside that's the four servo build Park it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, right in the pocket. Mm -hmm. It's a bit cold there. Ugh. Love crow. It's awesome.